Vegas, baby, Vegas. Hi, everybody. Welcome to what is quite simply history in the making, the 2006 Miss America pageant. I'm James Denton, and I'll be your host tonight as these 52 extraordinary young ladies compete in the largest women's scholarship competition in the world. Happy to be here. Very excited to be part of this transition. Uh, happy to be in Vegas, and I'm uh, in the middle of a hot streak at the blackjack table, so let's get on with it. Oh, yeah, just that, you know, awful proud of him and thank him for everything. But, yeah, I love Fable. I used to, uh, Fable was my sales territory when I worked at WRAL. So, uh, had a lot of fun down there. But, yeah, um, obviously, I'm thinking about the best for our soldiers and just want to thank them. Miss America 2006 is Miss Oklahoma, Jennifer Berry. Obviously, James Denton. He was the host of the show. I met Brian McKnight who was a famous R&B singer, which he was really, really nice. Um, let's see, Kathy, Kathy Lee. Kathy Lee, yeah, tell yeah. us about that interview. Yeah. I heard you had an interview with yeah. Kathy, and we, we actually captured it. Yeah, I was, that was really cool. Um, I kind of, my favorite part about that interview was Miss New York was standing beside me, and she's a rocket, and she was talking about how she was a rocket, and Kathy Lee was all excited about that, saying, oh, that's really neat. I think you've made history. You know, we've never had a rocket to compete in Miss America. And I think this is the first time in the history of the Miss America pageant that a rocket has, I think, that I Maria know. Fletcher actually won. I, she yes, was she was but North Carolina. And how long ago was that? My, my no, Miss America. 1962, oh. Maria Bell Fletcher, Miss she North did. Carolina, won Miss America. What are you, the, yeah. the official Miss America historian? I know, I'm fine. No, no, just because that's the only time oh. North Carolina has taken the title of Miss America, so I would know that. So day. you would know that. <laughs> I corrected her in a very uh, polite right. way, <laughs> and I said, oh, no, ma'am, 1962, Marie Bell Fletcher, who was Miss North Carolina to win Miss America, she was a rocket. And she called you the historian of? She did what? Yeah, um, in, in the actual interview, uh, Kathy Lee said, are you the historian of Miss America pageants? She sure did, that's yeah. right, yeah, and I'm glad I kind of got out of that, because I really don't know, like, every Miss America, but of course I know when North Carolina won Miss America, so I wanted to correct her on that, because the, I was the, really proud the, of that. The to Brooke, the total experience, what's it been like? They're setting a precedence in a new venue, I'm sure that a lot of things weren't as organized as you would think they would have been, being the first year here, right. but can you elaborate on your whole experience? surreal I mean it was like we were celebrities all week long and I could really get used to the lifestyle <laughs> um, I can't believe that it's over with it just flew by I mean it seems like yesterday I left and even last night before I walked out on stage I still didn't feel like I was really competing for Miss America but when we walked out on stage and there was 7,000 people in front of us wow. yeah and you know you could hear them five four three two one we're going live and it was yeah. like uh, I'm on live television in front of the nation. What was the emotion like there? Oh, I, I mean, I teared up, absolutely. Yeah. Um, even when Jennifer was crowned Miss America, I was crying for her. Um, she's an amazing girl, very genuine, and couldn't have asked for a better representative because she's not just Miss America. She's representing the 51 of us that competed with her. So, so that so, was very important. So there has been a lot of camaraderie, and you've oh, met yeah. some new friends and things. Any yeah. that you'd like to elaborate on there? Well, it's funny. There's a lot of the contestants that are engaged, and we found out, or I found out this morning, that four of them have set the same wedding date, which is, I think, like July 14th. But my roommate is one of them, so I'm going to be going to New Hampshire for her wedding on July 14th. And, oh, yeah, I mean, amazing friends. Miss America said last night when, after she was crowned that you, they always say you meet your bridesmaids at Miss America. And she was very, very complimentary of us and said, you know, I've just, I really felt like that was true. And I can completely agree with her on that. I mean, it's a great bunch of girls. That's great. Absolutely. Now, your, uh, your platform as Miss North Carolina, you will continue on uh, when you get back to North Carolina. Can you tell us some of the things that are on your agenda? Things just don't slow down for you, do they? Oh, no, no. I actually have an appearance this week um, at Miss UNC Pembroke, which is a preliminary to Miss North Carolina. But in reference to my platform, um, I'm still going to work with the American Brain Tumor Association, and my goal is to still get a hold of Tim McGraw. Tim McGraw, tell us. Are you going to get him? I'm going to do it somehow or another. I don't know if I'm going to have to take faith out to get to him. Right? I'm kidding. But. Well, you, 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 you still wear the uh, Tug McGraw bracelet yeah. everywhere we see you. You've yeah. got it on. Um, that's wonderful. He, he ought to help, no doubt. Yeah, I really, I really hope that he does, or at least I can get my message to him and maybe he can think about it. How would you get the message to him, Brooke? Well, there's connections. Actually, Faith, I think, has some friends in the Fayetteville area. So I know 
of a person who knows a person, and I've just got to get a, a well, package Well, they came to Fort together. Bragg yeah. once, didn't they? They did, they did. So I'm going to try to get a package together of, you know, my story. Um, my license plate says you got to believe. Well, that's so right. um, I've got a picture beside that. I want to do little things like that and just really present it to them and say, here, here's the story. This is my plan for you, and this is the great things that we could accomplish together and really see what, what he has to say about it. After Miss North Carolina, I'm sure that, you know, being a survivor yourself, you continue to be on that platform. After Miss North Carolina, could you elaborate there? Oh, I, I mean, I never want to stop. I would love to be more actively involved with the American Brain Tumor Association. Um, I don't know if you know this, but let's see, November, they flew me out to Texas to speak at the Sharing Hope Conference. And so many people came up to me and said, you know, your story was so inspirational and you touched my life. But what was so great about it was, I was touched by meeting all the other survivors. Um, I'm always, as Miss North Carolina or, or just as Brooke, I'm speaking on my story, and I don't really hear a lot of other people's stories or brain tumor survivors. Mm -hmm. And so hearing them and, and meeting families that have been through the same thing that I have and my family have, I mean, it was a wonderful experience and I really hope that they'll allow me to travel with them more because they have those meetings all over the nation. I mean, it, you know, several a month. I would love to be able to do that more. And That's just absolutely more. wonderful. Now, will you still be attending Fayetteville State University when you go back to Fayetteville? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm ready to get back into that, too. I'm, I'm such a schedule girl, so this is going to be nice because now my time is not completely consumed by you know, is this gown going to fit right? Is my talent right? Is my swimsuit body where it needs to be? Um, I'm going to start back at Fayetteville State probably in August. I, I don't think I'm going to start back the summer semester, but fall semester 2006, I'll be back at the Bronco home. Boy, they really think a lot of you there, Brooke. <laughs> they do. I, oh, I, I really think a lot of them. I mean, it's a wonderful education, a wonderful group of people. It's just an amazing campus. You can you can really feel at home when you're there. So sure you can. Now tell me, have you had a chance to gamble? We are in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, I was given a little bit of money <laughs> to gamble, and I had a lot of fun. Um, the Wheel of Fortune game was my favorite because when you pull the little lever down and it hits, I think if it says spin when it comes up, you can spin the wheel and it says wheel of fortune and that was really exciting. <laughs> so, now you didn't I have very much lot. time to enjoy yourself mm -hmm. during the pageant, so uh, you actually were able to play wheel of fortune last night after the pageant? It was actually this morning. <laughs> right. Yeah, the pageant got um, over pretty early, but then, you know, we had the visitation where we met with our family and we heard Miss America speak. So after that, by the time I went to the dressing room and moved my clothes out and then got out of those high heels that I've been in for two weeks, <laughs> my feet were killing now, me. Now, are you going to have any time to actually do the town, you might say? I'm going to try to do that today. I'm, I went to the Cheesecake Factory at Caesars Palace last night, which is one of my favorite restaurants, and then I did the little gambling. I think I was up to about 4 o'clock this morning trying to experience that. So I'm trying to find some energy and see the rest of Vegas today. What is the first thing that Brooke McLaurin is going to do for herself when she gets home? Sleep. <laughs> Have you not gotten a lot of that? No, <laughs> I haven't. Um, it's funny, though. I think I've been so tired that it's kind of making me delusional and one night I remember waking up in my hotel room and I have a Shizu, a little puppy named Maggie and she always sleeps with me and she has to be right up on me when we're sleeping together and one night I woke up in the hotel bed like thinking she was there and I remember even, I don't know if I was dreaming or not I, but I said Maggie when I woke up so I'm ready to get back in my bed and sleep a lot with Maggie by my side I, miss I bet you miss her yes, 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 I do anything that you'd like to say back to the folks at home uh, we'll be carrying it back this week Oh, yeah. Um, thanks for your support. I, I mean, I had stacks and stacks of cards and messages, and the support and love that I received really brought me through these two weeks because it wasn't easy. And I'm glad to come back home to Fayetteville and continue to represent Fayetteville in North Carolina. Um, I love you, and God bless you. And I know I'll never love this way again. We just want you to know we're proud of you. We love you. You're still our Miss Fayetteville, former Miss Fayetteville, our Miss North Carolina. You did an excellent job. I think the pageant was handled nice. I think all the girls were nice. And we're just still in there for you. We love you, and we, you're still our Miss North Carolina.